Uh, hi, I'm Maria Angelica Ardamagas, a student from the University of the Philippines, Baguio, and I wrote another story. It's inspired by a YouTuber named Corpse Husband and his friends. This story is called Once Upon a Halloween, a Corpse Story. I hope you like the story! Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Corpse. He was a shy little kid because he, like most people, got bullied. Kids would make fun of him. His clothes, his hair, his face. Because of them, he didn't like going outside, and he became insecure about how he looked. Whenever he would have to go out, however, he would just hide behind a mask. When adults asked why, he would not answer. And after that, they would usually leave him alone. One Halloween, a boy his age moved into his neighborhood. The boy saw Corpse through his window and looked at him with a smile. Corpse hid behind the curtain, flustered. The boy approached Corpse's house and with a cheery voice he said, Hello, happy Halloween neighbor. I'm Felix. What's your name? Corpse hesitated for a bit, but he peeked through the curtains and answered, Corpse. Well, Corpse, wanna go trick-or-treating with me later? I'm new and it would be nice to have a friend to show me around. Surprised, Corpse said, uh, Okay. Great, see you night. With that, Felix went back to his house, turning around one more time to wave at his new friend. Corpse couldn't help but smile. Friend, it's been a while since Corpse had one of those. Though he was a little nervous, what if he would think he's odd? What if he would make fun of his face? But what if he doesn't? He told himself. He's just going to have to give him a chance and go outside. What could possibly go wrong? I'll just wear a mask again. It's usually what kids do during Halloween. Besides, he already said yes. He didn't like to admit it, but he was excited. That afternoon, Carves found himself impatiently waiting for the doorbell to ring. Corpse, are you ready? Yeah. Corpse opened the door. Cool mask! Th thank you. Come on, look, they're trick-or-treating too. Let's introduce ourselves. Felix grabbed Corpse's hand and tugged him to the group of kids outside the house next door. Hey, my name's Felix, and this is my friend Corpse. Can we join you? The more the merrier, answered one of the kids. No, it's okay. You, you don't have to invite me too. I can just go back and- Wait! Come on, Corpse! Said the little girl, linking her arm with Corpse's. My name's Ray, and these are my friends. Oh, we're going to have so much fun! Indeed, they did. They went through every house, the other kids giggling the whole time. Corpse found himself let out a few laughs too. After they got to the last house, Corpse turned to say goodbye. But Ray spoke and said, My mom wants me to invite you guys to my house for some food. It's not far from here. What do you say, Corpse? Asked Felix. Uh, I, uh... Great, come on! They all started heading for Ray's house. Come on in. We can just take off our costumes now since we're already inside. Everyone did so. Well, everyone except Corpse. When they got to the living room, Felix noticed that Corpse was still wearing his mask. Corpse, you can take off your mask now. No! Why? I don't like the way I look. You might make fun of me. It's fine. Try us, said Felix. Corpse thought for a bit before hesitantly taking off his mask. Hmm, said Ray. Well, you have two eyes, one nose, and a mouth. You're no different from the rest of us. You don't have to hide behind that mask. Plus, we've already seen what you look like. <laughs> and even if you did have a missing eye, or a crooked nose, or a small mouth, you're still, well, corpse. Corpse smiled at what they said. Yeah, we're all friends here. Corpse, come play with us. Sure, said corpse. 
And so Carps played with his new friends, then ate dinner and played some more. A few hours passed. It was time to go home. Let's play again tomorrow, Carps, said Dave. Yeah, bye, Carps, said Lily. Bye. Let's walk home together. When they got to Carps' doorstep, he said, Thank you for today, Felix. I had fun. Play again tomorrow? Yeah, Felix said. He smiled at him. Goodbye, Corpse. Um, bye. When morning came, Corpse quickly took a shower and went to Felix's house. He knocked at the door and a woman answered. He figured it was Felix's mom. Hi, ma'am. I'm Corpse. I went trick-or-treating with Felix yesterday. Is he home? C can we play together? The woman looked at him confused. I'm sorry, who? Felix. I'm sorry, Corpse. You see, my son Felix has been gone for years. No, that's impossible. I just played with him yesterday. I'm sorry, but it seems like you two would have been great friends. If he didn't get sick. Oh, he would have loved your company. He always loved making friends, but sadly, well... Huh? Corpse blinked. Uh, I'm sorry, it must have been a wrong house. Sorry for the intrusion. He went back to his house in deep thought. He couldn't have imagined it. No. He saw the boy. Felix was real. Could it have been a ghost he played with? Corpse, come with us. We're going to the park and play. When he and his friends got to the park, he asked them about Felix. His friends told him they didn't know who he was talking about. They told him he was alone when they met him, and that they didn't know any Felix. Well, whoever it was, Corpus was very thankful. Felix helped him come out of his shell. Because of him, he realized that not everyone is mean. He was glad that he can play with kids who do not tease his looks or make fun of his face. His heart was filled. He was happy. After some time, he was still a bit shy, and he would still hide sometimes. But then he would remember what his friend said. He has two eyes, one nose, and a mouth. He's no different from everyone, really. And even if he had a missing eye, or a crooked nose, or a tiny mouth, he is who he is. It doesn't really matter, and it's not his problem. People are just going to have to learn to see with their hearts and not their eyes. The end.